my well, life. We wrong. had to have that's the entire wrong. police force. That's so wrong. maybe, that's maybe wrong. back in the day, nine people in maybe Dayton, back Ohio. in the day, well, some KKK you know. members uh, defended somebody, and, and but to, to paint them in a light, a light that they're suddenly a great group well, because they did No, one I'm thing. talking about my experience with them. Yeah, I got to be true to my experience with them. Your experience with them is one in which they did something that was wrong. If they attacked you at breakfast and tried to threaten your life, it's all on camera. That's wrong. I was eating breakfast. Well, America's experience with them is is also sending in antifa guys end up in jail for this bullshit they end up putting other people in jail they end up committing suicide because they're in over their heads and then the dayton ohio shoot shooting was nine people dead including the shooter himself i i've counted about 17 deaths that come from antifa rhetoric well, and see, antifa I don't violence know, i don't know about that they're that's they're a domestic terror group by police officers. pardon me that's more than black people I don't that know about that. right officers okay look i have a bad feeling the cops are going to bust this soon let's try to get <laughs> some tangible uh hard concrete things that could help the black community in this well, country give me uh, dear sister i mentioned one there has to be honest spotlight casting on realities that fall outside of our ideologies we have to be candid across the board we got to be candid about the militarism at the top got to be candid about ugly treatment on on the bottom you got to be candid about the wealth inequality you got to be candid about the issue of personal responsibility so free speech you got to be Oh, absolutely. You got to have free speech, but without injurious harm. Okay, so Candace should be able to harm. talk at any college. Oh, sure. <clears throat> I'm glad about that. Now, of course, now see, college is a different place than a community. And what I mean by that is, is that colleges do have the right to decide yeah. who is going to speak there relative to what the issues are. And they take the federal funding are. and they decide that it's only going but, to be leftist But it's got to be, it's got to be ideologically and politically diverse. But they, mm -hmm. they, but they, have, they have a right to do that. But on, when it comes to community, that's very different. You have a right to speak any community, any corner, mm -hmm. and ought to be protected there as long as you don't engage in injurious harm. Right. I've said. never, ever, ever Absolutely. advocated for violence. I have never been violent mm -hmm. towards any person. I say what I believe, mm -hmm. and I think that you'll find, and this is why I think the media is so obsessed with painting us as they did after we had our debate, is that we actually agree on more than we disagree. I think what we disagree on is how we fix it, right? So we, 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 we totally disagree on how well, we, we fix it. We have a critique of the establishment in both parties. Mm -hmm. See, your support of Trump means you have an indictment of the conservatism in the Republican Party vis-a-vis -vis its establishment. That's correct. I think he represents a new form of conservatism, and when he called it a swamp, he was being honest. I mean, it, there's just people on the left and the right. But we then, were all but losing. Then, but the problem is, see, this is part of the contradiction, though. But when you come in and then Trump, his attitude toward Wall Street, his attitude toward the military industrial complex, it ex they expand. They become even more powerful. You so, see, so, Whereas so if it, my focus. He has to hit them head on. He didn't have the courage to hit them. That's my left wing critique. He doesn't have the courage to hit them head on, but he can spend all his time talking about precious Mexicans and Muslims and other folk. Well, good for the you illegals see? gotta go. I mean, you know, but, you but, know but they're harming black America. But you don't need to demonize the precious Mexicans, no, no, brothers and sisters. Don't call them, don't call them precious Mexicans. Mexicans. Yes, he, he does. does. He talks about the Illegal. ones crossing no, the border. No, you're talking about all of them as criminals, all of them as so-and-so. That's just yeah, wrong. He, first off, That's wrong. For, foremost, I'm gonna say this. First, mm -hmm. I'm going to say about illegal immigration, period. We know that under Barack Obama, the United States Commission did a report to determine who was harmed by illegal immigration. They determined, and this was a report done by both sides, that black American men between the ages of 18 and 21 are the people that hurt the most. Especially um, in California. Because they're the ones that have to compete. And when they come into these neighborhoods, and they allot it, and he's correct to say, we know that the majority of the judge coming over the border, where are they going into? Our neighborhoods, right? So to me, it is it is it is so crucial for Black Americans to understand that in, in illegal anybody that's promoting for open borders and for telling you to flood them in are not the people that are trying to help Black America. They know it, that we are the ones going to have to compete why for them. Why would for... Trump say that rather than call them rapists and criminals? Right. Listen, they're not rapists. They just they, they come out and no, find a, a good a job. A disproportionate number of the illegals crossing the border are, are, are rapists. rapists. They are. It's weird. Eighty percent of the girls who cross the border get raped, get raped on the journey. Eighty percent. They take birth control on the way. Over yeah. the border. That's. I mean, that's just it's a fact. It's just an accepted part of the the transition. Yeah, and that's why it's uh, weird. Mexico to export. Mexico doesn't have room in prisons. They encourage criminals but, but to cross the border. Does that mean the 11 million precious 30 million. illegals in this country? Do you think it's 30? I think it's 30. Well, I think most people traditionally say 11 or 12 million. The left. Of those 11 and 12 million, what percentage of those do you think are rapists? A disproportionate number. More Rapist than they are represented like in the population. Or like just in general committing crimes. 
Well, well, criminal. He says he called them criminals and rapists, so it'd be both. Criminals. I don't know the way he talks about him. It's so vicious. It's so. I'm cold sorry, but if, if you go into so any of these callous. sanctuary cities and Christ, you see the amount of crimes that are being committed because no, they're but, sanctuary, but, you can't park your car but, in San Francisco for five minutes without it getting broken into. Happened to me. I was there literally five minutes. Came outside. But that's all been of our true stuff. for a long time. A lot of not, hoods. No, a lot of communities. Come on. California was not the way that it is now. Well, and, well I'm talking about other communities. Oh, other yes. communities. Listen, I, I'm yeah. not. I, you're never going to hear me uh, make a blanket statement that all people are are this or that. I'm not going to say that all. All you know, Mexicans that are coming to this country. Some of them are, are literal children that are being used by people, adults that are trying true. to get in here. Like that's you cannot. It, he should be careful not to issue those blanket he, statements. And listen, here's what I'll say. By the way, that's ugly but lady. he has because you know what? Then he was a candidate. Now he's a president, and he hasn't he hasn't done those sort of sweeping you know statements since then. And people are holding on to it because now he's actually proven himself to be a, a, a pretty stand up president. He's delivering results. He hasn't said anything super harmful to anybody at all. And I agree that illegal immigration is a problem that needs to be tackled. So I'm willing to to look over a sentence that he said while he was on the campaign trail well, uh, and look at what he's actually. He said doing. a number of times, but yeah. He didn't say a number of times. He said it one time in a speech. He says, at Fishbury's, he said they're not giving us their best people, and that's a fact. If they are their best people, the government would be fighting to keep them in their countries because they'd be driving up their economy. Obviously, they're not giving us their best people. Well, it depends on what you mean by best, too, though. If it's just best well, in terms of professionals, least likely in terms of education. Yeah, at least likely to commit crimes. If they, were, if they were super educated no, people you that were doctors and lawyers. No, but you got some professional and educated folk in this country and other countries who commit a lot of crimes, we're too. Splitting, yes, I think we're splitting hairs anecdotal. here. Well, I'm agreeing with you that we have to be careful and not demonizing an entire group of people. But I hope that you do understand that illegal immigration just, is something that really harms black communities first and foremost. And that's a proven fact done by a report that was done under Barack Obama. But see, I would, but, but I would want to put the stress not so much on that competition. That competition is real. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But my stress is much more on first the businessmen and women who come in wanting to exploit and walking away with profits that are just just obscene. My and this is where I'm with Brother Bernie, as you know, right? I'm much more concerned about that top one percent that comes in a variety of different colors who are getting off with obscene wealth and resources while those of us who are in the middle classes working classes and poor fighting for the crumbs well then i gotta tell you something you're with you're with him and if, if he was elected i don't see to, trump talking if, about if, a critique if, of wall if street bernie, the way if, bernie does if bernie was elected tomorrow all of those wall street people will be sending their money overseas and they would get out of here That's the as fast as possible on their place they agree. have the resources to and, no. you know and we would see you how big a gangster they really no, are you know what they're not committed to the country our, they're committed to well, their own correct you want to know how we would see it we'd all be broke all the markets would crash there'd be nothing here because we had we don't have the entrepreneurial spirit the people that are entrepreneurs are going to leave for country that allow them to be rewarded based on their hard work. Nobody is going to stay in the country. They say they're going to tax me 75%, I'm leaving, period, right? So then you're going to have a system where you have a bunch of people that are standing behind Bernie, the do-nothing people are going to have no money to go around because there is no entrepreneurship, the rich people have fled. It's exactly what happened to Chicago. We know that Bernie's idea of socialist policies does not work. It cannot be implemented. The grievance behind it might be accurate. The yes, application of it does not work. So we have to come up with a better solution then. We're yeah, going to take see, it from the rich just, people. But, but just think of what you just said, though, sister. You're saying that Wall Street has got America with a gun to its head. No, I didn't say and that. If, well, you said it. If, if, in fact, Bernie were elected, they would leave the country, no commitment to the country, that's just common sense. and watch the country too. go under. I would leave, too. I'm not Wall Street. That's common sense. If you're telling me that they're going to tax are, me 75%. Are you 75%, saying that your commitment to America is such that you would rather leave the country with money and watch America go under? No, my commitment to myself and my family is enough, but I'm not letting you take 75% of my hard work as a girl who came from absolutely nothing and grew up Eisenhower, in a rat and posted Eisenhower apartment. Eisenhower no government. Levels, do not myself. care. I'm answering your Eisenhower question. Eisenhower had higher levels. Answer my question. As a would girl who came from Eisenhower? nothing and worked for everything that I have, no government is coming in and taking 75% of my income. I would leave. It's not a commitment to an America. It's a commitment to myself and a commitment to common sense. So, but what I'm saying is, so if you had lived under Dwight Eisenhower's regime where they had 80%, they you had would 80%, have left America? No one paid that. No. That was like a no, few no, movie stars. No, they had stars. 80%, brother. No one was paying that, Under though. FDR, they had even higher. I you would have left up. FDR. I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to plead ignorant because it, it, I'd have to look up because that, sound, that, 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 that sounds high to me. I'm telling you. Oh, yes. For that 1%. Because it was gradations. You know, it was gradations. I would have it was for the one percent. 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 It wasn't for everybody in, now. In, in infinitesimally small percent of the population, movie stars, moguls mm -hmm. were paying those. Ninety percent it was. Yes. 
But I, I think uh, everyone agrees, no one likes the $500 million CEO salary when the people in the, on the assembly line are paying 30. The problem is when the government tries to regulate that shitty situation, they make it even worse. The government makes everything worse. You were so talking about the beginning so, so, about So about what this. do we do then? How, how, do you, how do you recognize the dignity of the worker if the only alternative is if we do something and intervene, the, the well-to-do walk off with their wealth and well, watch everything One close. thing we do why is close we, the borders. Why, why, yeah, exactly. Why don't we actually put more wealth back into the country, close the borders, uh, take care of our enough. people first, hashtag America first, right, what he's talking about, and create opportunities for the people that like came from nothing like I did to become wealthy but if, based on their own hard work and well, their good well, ideas. Well, I don't need to hate the rich man. I want to learn how to become the rich man. Well, this is where we have a difference. If it were the case that when we say America first, we were saying American poor and working people first. We are. We're not saying that. No, wealth inequality has gone up. No. It's gone up. No. Yes, but the tax they've cuts, both gone up. Would you, the rich, would you agree the, the tax cuts richer. help the rich the much more than it did for the working people? No, I would disagree. You think that you think that Trump's tax cuts it helped my the, worked? The, the, the corporations that got those tax cuts, I have two sisters. Both of them then instantly got bonuses and raises because of the tax cuts. I have a cousin who works for Starbucks. Aniza, I'm rich. They were murder on me. Uh, 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 works for Starbucks. She got a raise instantly. So you're saying the corporations got the, the tax cuts. The people work for the corporations. That's what you, you trickle down economics. Yeah, but trickle down doesn't trickle, trickle, trickle the way it should. No, I think so I just answer your question. Every agree. single person in my family I think we received can benefits the because trickle. of that. And they are not they are not wealthy by any stretch of any imagination. One of them was working at Starbucks and she got a raise because of the tax cuts. And all of them said, but how, oh, big no, raise? Raise. how big was that raise? How big was that raise? See now you're splitting hairs. You just you asked me a question, I answered it. So for her, you, you might say you might say the raise is small, okay? It was for her it was very dollar, small. But, but the raise but making, the raise at the top. But to her but to, the taxes that they got at the top okay. were gargantuan then we got your precious sister getting a little tax getting a little increase she was happy about it so you well, no, so, not, so, no, but people no, been happy people can be she happy, for happy. Time she was happy about it so my no. sister was happy about her bonus my cousin was happy about her raise at starbucks my other sister was happy about her bonus so we don't need to burn to be aggrieved for them when yeah. they're happy thatcher no, used to talk about know. this where I they said the know. gap is the worst it's ever been and thatcher goes yes the gap is bigger now but the poor are, be, are making more money so yes, the gap increases, and the rich are richer, but the poor also got richer. Well, you got to look and a lot of lefties food. would rather the gap was smaller and both were poor they, yeah, they want than every, for this to be up here. Their idea of equality is everybody be poor. Oh no, every look at every policy that Bernie is, is pitching. It basically mm -hmm. means we will not have equality until everyone is poor. That's not true. 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 That's not saying just the corporations he's talking about people that live within a circum income bracket right and i refuse as someone that has worked for everything that they have that they that, that i have someone that travels six days a week to work i refuse to give my money up for people that i know i have relatives that are on welfare that sit on their butts all day and do absolutely nothing but i'm not doing that i'm but, sorry but, but but you have to agree most of the money that we pay to the government by means of taxes go to the military is 61 cents for every dollar when you pay taxes the first person you look at ought not be the person on welfare the first person you look at ought to be pentagon state department marketeers oligopolies monopolies who have contracts making goo gobs of money with Guns. Okay, so let's just shrink I, it all. Let's yes. shrink it if all. If we could shrink the yeah. military section of the budget, now in order to do and that, welfare. we'd have to go against and Trump. Welfare. We got to go against and Trump welfare. for that. And welfare. I'm sorry. But we don't, hard, we don't hard even have a, a collective right to welfare anymore after 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 Bill Clinton in 1996. That's what, what he did. About? He undercut the right of citizens to have See, an automatic what's right great to welfare. About municipalities. So they got different programs that's in place. But it's no longer welfare as tra traditionally understood. That he ended welfare as we traditionally understand it. But when you talk about the corporate welfare at the top, that has been increasing exponentially. And they are corrupt elites who have politicians in both parties who they are controlling. Trump is not getting controlled right now. That's pretty obvious. He's a stick of dynamite. He, he, he's, he, he can't get a fair shake in the media, and that lets you know that he's going against well, no, the no, 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 no. The media is not the place to look because the media has its own blindness in terms of militarism. Has the media said anything about the seven wars that we have involved in?